The short documentary you are about to watch was filmed on August 1st of 2015. To put that in perspective, Cheyenne's first video, titled LSD with Autism, was filmed six months after this one. Initially, we decided to never release this video, but after a change of heart, the documentary was finally completed. The creators of this video do not condone unsafe substance use. This documentary was created under Cheyenne's request. Cheyenne made a careful, calculated decision to safely explore this controversial substance and in the name of science, or simple curiosity, take you all along on the ride with him. In this short documentary, Cheyenne, a man who has Asperger's syndrome, which is one of the autism spectrum disorders, tries MDMA for the first time. Cheyenne was curious if MDMA would affect him differently than an average person, due to the fact that his brain operates in a different way than the average person's brain. Are you nervous to do this? No, I'm not. I'm actually quite excited. To be honest. Can you not play on your phone when you answer the question? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. I'm actually quite excited about this. I'm not nervous at all. Um, I, I really want to see uh, where this takes me. I have a feeling it's going to take me to a very good place. I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous, yeah. I mean, it's totally leaving the uh, normal frame of mind, right? That's, that's always a little disconcerting, but I've done it before. It's not something I haven't experienced, so... Not once? Yeah. Do you guys think it, uh, these substances deserve to be illegal? No. It's certainly not. I think that uh, these substances should be legalized and people should be uh, advised to at least uh, try them uh, at least once. Not in a party atmosphere, but more mm -hmm. in a sense of an educational uh, way, in a, a sense that sort of expands spiritual growth. Um, I'd rather you learn a great deal from it. And uh, that's what I'm hoping to do now today. Cheyenne tested his MDMA with the Marquis reagent to ensure he did, in fact, have actual MDMA. Then he calculated his dosage safely by multiplying his weight in kilos by 1.5, which gave him a dose of 200 milligrams. And uh, just to let you know, guys know, I, uh, I purchased a Muse headband so that Adam can trap my brain waves. If he's interested, he can put that info oh, on there too. For sure do it. So just um, let me know as soon as you start feeling something different. Okay, sounds good. Has your tics disappeared yet, Cheyenne? No. Yeah? How, how do you know? You haven't looked at it. Okay, hold on. It's more to begin with. No, don't show me your tic. This is an excuse for him. No, 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 no. No, no. Cheyenne, are yeah, you okay? Yeah, I have a tiny piece. Oh, no, he if pulled you, it out! Now, uh, worst case scenario, I mean, this is just how I feel all the time. No. Probably, no way. Eh? Since you're on no antidepressants, mm. and you last ate at two, it's just because you're a bigger guy, it hasn't yeah. hit you yet. Okay. But it will. But I generally... I'm so glad I trust you. Why do you trust me? Because you, I don't know, you're good. Yeah, thanks, dude. I appreciate you got, it. you like, a goodness to you, that makes me feel super safe. I said the same thing, but uh, I don't know, what if uh, I'm just a general loving, lovable guy? <laughs> I think you are a general lovable guy. <laughs> we'll wait about five minutes, and then we'll take a walk outside and look at uh, sure. the nature and the flyer, flowers, okay. and especially the clouds. Especially the clouds. I feel, uh, yeah, it's like you, you don't want to hold on, but you do. Hold on to what? Well, at a certain moment, I want to hold on to your arm. <laughs> you yeah, do? But then it, it, it all becomes metaphorical. Yeah. Well, I'm here, right? So you can grab onto my hand or whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Cheyenne's feeling good. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make him feel good, okay? Oh, just come with me. All right, let's go. Okay. I Cheyenne, know that there are Cheyenne stop being weird. I feel very calm and very relaxed. And when I look at the brainwave analyzer, it's gone from windy to just nothing. Normally, uh, there's a lot of wind and cloudiness. Is that what this thing is supposed to be doing? Exactly. But right now, it's just 
calm ocean. Um, but how are you feeling? Explain it. I'm back. Um, I feel very calm. Mm -hmm. uh, very collected. Um, I don't feel highly energetic or anything like that. Um, I have a very clear mindset and a sense of, uh, I guess you could say, deep positivity. Like uh, something close to bliss, I suppose. You're an interesting character. You take MDMA you. and you describe it as, it's kind of like bliss. <laughs> But Whereas it's, a normal it's, person would be like, oh, I feel so good right now. Cheyenne's like, kind of bliss. But I feel <laughs> wonderful. So uh, what this does is it measures your brainwave activity. And uh, when I first tried it, uh, I could only reach 1% calmness. And uh, at 9.46 p.m., I was at 32% calmness. And now at 23 p.m., I'm at 42% calmness. Let's see so this. this is just unbelievable. I just feel extremely calm and positive right now. So the brainwave meter has gone up to, it keeps getting more calm. Exactly. The more these drugs kick yep. in. And this is absolutely unbelievable. It's gotten so much to a point where it's telling me that it's not even reading my brainwave activity. I have to tell you something, and this is a little embarrassing, mm -hmm. but I have this feeling, and I'm not that much of a touchy-feely kind of guy, but I feel like I just want to hug you right now. That's <laughs> normal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like some moments I feel like I really shouldn't want to touch you as much as I do. <laughs> Sounds, that comes off and so then bad. Other, you know, uh, no, but it's, but it's the same thing with your cat and the microphone and reality and like... I'm having the same quality of interaction with everything. It's so you feel huggy? Do you mm. want a hug? Sure. Yeah, I'll give you a hug. I can't even get a whole fucking thought <laughs> out. I'm trying to explain it. I'm trying to make sure, I guess, that uh, my friend's okay. And, what would um, suggest he's not okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to sort of set out the parameters for a viewing audience. Like, it's a very metacognitive experience we're doing right now, and I'm trying to do it on LSD, so... <laughs> Bear with me now. You seem very confident. Let's get back to what we were discussing. You seem very confident about the areas in, in uh, which we're dealing. Your, your fluency and your... Um, you're almost laid back. You are exactly the, the person I need to be. <laughs> Sherping my LSD experiences, a dude in flip-flops. Looks like he's ready to go to the beach, and we are surfing the fucking cosmic waves. So you feel positive every day? Yes. Okay, was your positivity enhanced by the substance? Not to my knowledge, no. I what? just feel the way I always feel. So nothing changed? No. I say it had a little effect on me, but I feel very... At the same time, I feel very positive. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. We just got back from attending a small get-together. It's 4 a.m. and he doesn't seem to be tired. And he's still claiming the MDMA had no effect on him. I tested it and I knew for a fact that this was 100% pure, real MDMA. And uh, it had absolutely no effect on me. I Shai Cheyenne, stop being weird. And now at 10, 23 p.m., Close to bliss, I suppose. Absolutely nothing happened. I mean, uh, I don't feel sleepy right now, which uh, I've heard is a side effect of it, but aside from that, either MDMA is just my natural state, it's the way I am, because I'm usually a very positive guy. Cheyenne himself is MDMA. Point, just... Or maybe uh, it was uh, my Asperger's, and uh, maybe it just... Uh, wouldn't give me the opening. Uh, maybe uh, my brain chemistry is uh, just built in a certain way that uh, it doesn't really affect me as much as it would other people. Oh, uh, one odd little thing that I noticed is that even though the MDMA didn't affect me, it was somehow affecting all the people around me. Uh, they were extremely positive and very friendly. Uh, usually uh, people are relatively friendly slash neutral toward me 
But uh, this time, no matter who I walked up to or who walked up to me, they were just they were just beaming. It's it's almost as if they were picking up some kind of unconscious positive energy that was emanating off me. And um, either I was drawing positive people toward me, or I was making people feel positive uh, because of this vibration. Uh, Nikola Tesla said that the universe is made up of three fundamental things, and that's frequency, vibration, and energy. I believe that even though MDMA didn't take me to some higher level, I still have to believe that the fact that I took it did, in fact, affect a lot of the people around me. Thanks for watching, guys. This video was made possible thanks to your support on Patreon. If you would like to learn more about what Patreon is, visit patreon.com to do so. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for weekly psychedelic-related content. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments section what you enjoyed about this video, what you didn't like, what perhaps you would like to see next time. I'm not guaranteeing that Cheyenne will be returning for behaving as the guinea pig again. Um, you do have to realize though, Cheyenne doesn't see himself as a guinea pig. He's the one who initiated these videos. He's the one who wanted to do these experiments. I'm just, as far as he's concerned, the guy holding the camera and uh, working for him. <laughs> so he led that entire endeavor. I had no idea that, say, Jack or Cy were coming. I just knew that I was filming him that day. And he shows up with Jack and Cy, and he tells me that Jack's gonna be taking acid. So I'm just like, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, take care everyone and be safe.